just pull it over the bottom, just like this. Okay, so you see here, cocktail tables. Uh, from January 1st to December 31st, 30-inch uh, cocktail tables, 42-inch high, have been rented 172 times. So you know that's a great item. It's generated... What's up, guys? It's Lee here, the rental guy. And today, we're going to go over cocktail tables. If you know me, you know that I started a party rental business from here. That's right, the garage of my house, and I was able to upgrade uh, using the tactics that I've shared in this channel starting out about four years ago. Today, we're talking about cocktail tables. Let's get into it. Even back when I had a bartending business, I used to rent cocktail tables along with the portable bars. Uh, they didn't go out as much when I was a bartending business, but they still did go out and they paid for themselves. I mean, if you think of it, this will pay for itself in, a, in about six rentals. So we've got a, a base here. The pole here just sits in there and then the top goes on. So this is the cocktail table. These cocktail table carts are great. Uh, when customers come and pick up, you can roll them out to them and then they can load the cocktail tables into their vehicle. However, uh, this guy doesn't fit in my trailer, so it's kind of hard once they get to the door to get them in anywhere. And that's why I've got this guy right here. So it's like a, a rolling uh, sort of toolbox tote and the handle comes out like this and you can actually roll your cocktail tables. It's very handy. And so I use these and I give these to customers with uh, the cocktail tables filled in them. But storing them in the shop, absolutely fantastic. One thing that I've always been about in uh, my shops ever since the garage is everything's on wheels. Uh, you see in this main area how there's things in the way. Well, if it's on wheels, then it can just go out of the way. This one is a cart, you know, it's, it's on wheels. Uh, you know, if there's something going out, different electronics, you can load it up with what you need. Then it rolls out to the customer, rolls back. Um, nothing can be in the way if you have everything on wheels. So these bad boys are popular uh, all year round, but majority during Christmas season, right? Uh, every weekend, I've got all of them going out. The only reason I've actually got uh, two of them left for this weekend is I saved them for my family Christmas party, which I'm doing at the shop here. Um, but if you want to make some serious money, you get these. These are table uh, slip covers and they just stretch over the cocktail tables. They're easy to clean, so you just throw them in your washer at home. They come out of the dryer, like pretty much ready to go. You, you don't really have to iron them. Three and four. Look at that, you've got a nice cocktail table. Rents for $30. Uh, you can't go wrong with renting these. You know, start renting these and realize that the potential profit that you can make and then you can start getting into other tablecloths. So uh, even if you're sub-renting tablecloths, you can sub-rent tablecloths, but just own these for yourself because these are so easy. You throw them in your washer at home, whereas other tablecloths, you have to uh, press them. Like it's hard to actually get all the wrinkles out. So you sub-rent the tablecloths, but then you own the uh, stretch covers and uh, your world will change, I promise you. Let's check the numbers on these bad boys and I'll show you uh, what kind of weight I'm doing on cocktail tables. Okay, so you see here, cocktail tables. Uh, from January 1st to December 31st, 30-inch uh, cocktail tables, 42-inch high, have been rented 172 times. So you know that's a great item. It's generated $2,459.10 worth of profit. What can you do with $2,400? and $59.10 worth of profit. Well, you could turn around and you could buy more cocktail tables and double that profit. Cocktail tables. Man, kind of makes me feel like a cocktail table. Well, I hope I helped you learn a bit today. And if I did, uh, you know what to do. Do one of those and uh, we'll see you on the next one. And as always, you stay classy. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked this video, you know what to do. Press that like button. We'll see you on the next one. You stay classy.